Hi there, my name is Alana and here at Classy on the Run we love talking about luxury and high-end makeup and handbags. Today I'm so excited to be sharing with you what I got for Christmas. Now, I love watching videos like this. I am curious by nature, I love seeing what people got, seeing what other people get for Christmas gives me ideas about maybe what to ask for for Valentine's Day or my birthday or next Christmas. So anyways, I love these videos, I love making these videos. I do want to just have a quick disclaimer, I'm incredibly thankful for everything I received. I received so many wonderful, wonderful gifts. What I'm sharing today is sort of a highlights reel. There were other sort of smaller, more thoughtful or useful gifts, like for example, my mom bought my husband and I two towels. I didn't really feel the need to show you the towels I received today. So this is kind of a selection of just kind of some of the more blockbuster, some of the bigger items that I received. I'm super, super excited. We've got some thoughtful ones, some books, some purses, some jewelry. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So the first two items that I'm gonna share with you are from Mejuri, and I did order these with my dad um, on their Black Friday sale, so we did get a good deal. I'm wearing them today, but they are the earrings and matching necklace. They sort of have a almost marquee like diamond, but I know they're not diamonds. I think they're white topaz um, in a little kind of three. They're really bling. I find the earrings really, really blingy and a little bolder than what I normally go for. I think these would be so fun for New Year's. And then the matching necklace I think is so sweet for layering. So super, super grateful for these. And I think they're super fun. Definitely gonna be wearing them in some videos. Definitely gonna be wearing them to the office if I ever go back to the office. So my husband got me a Kate Spade bag. Now I did include this in some of my gift guides. So it's not new if you've been around my channel for a while. But I found this bag and my husband purchased it for me. It's from Kate Spade. And just look at those beautiful, beautiful kind of puffed floral details. It's lambskin, just like a Chanel. Um, it has a little side pocket in the back, just like a Chanel. I'm still getting used to how to open this bag. But on the inside, again, it has the two compartments. So this bag is obviously very Chanel inspired. This is the Kate Spade Small Flap Bloom Bag also available in sort of a nude pink and a maroon, but I just felt like the black was so classic and I just love the subtle detailing. I was scrolling Kate Spade's Black Friday deals and I saw these gloves, which are the perfect, perfect match, same line, same lambskin, same poofy little flower spades. So my mom did purchase these for me for Christmas and I opted for the size large. Now there was no real size chart online, but I do find that the large fit me fit me nicely. I feel like I have normal sized adult hands for what that's worth. Anyways, I think these gloves are so, so lovely and classy and I've never had gloves that have been like the perfect match for a bag before. So next up we have a handbag from my in-laws and I'm very, very excited about this one. So this bag is from Palen and Palen just has such a beautiful leather texture. They make such beautifully well-made bags. I got the Numero Un Mini, and this is such a sweet little bag. It's in lilac, which is the color I wanted. For the longest time, so this bag's been on my wish list for a while, for the longest time I wanted it in the blush pink, and I almost asked for it, or kind of hinted at it in blush, um, but I saw the lilac, and it was just, it's something I don't have in my collection. I already have a really tiny Kate Spade bag in pink, and I was like, Alana, you don't need another mini pink bag. So I kind of wanted to expand my horizons. So I went with the lilac, and I'm so glad that I did. So it's a body that can be worn, body, a bag that can be worn cross body, has a little tiny top handle. You open it up, and that's what's inside. Stay tuned in the new year. I'm gonna be doing, of course, a review of the bag. I might do like a review, sort of first impressions, what fits inside of it, and then I will do a review, and I also wanna do a comparison to the larger bag. There's just something about the numeral in shape that I just love. I just think it's like soft and feminine and really pretty and unique, and like it's just, I think it's a fantastic bag. So the next gift I'm gonna share with you is actually this little tea set. So this is a teapot for one, and it was from my grandma. Now my grandma also got us some gift cards and a few other Christmas decor things, but how cute is this little tea set? I think it is adorable. So um, it has a little teapot on top, and then a little um, wooden piece, and then I can just pour myself some tea lot to drip it all over all my gifts there we go so that is the tea set I got from my grandma I think it is so so sweet and that was definitely not something I had on like 
a wish list or an inspiration list. It was just something that she saw and she thought of me and she ordered it for me. So I'm super grateful for that. So my husband um, ordered for me the House of Gucci. So he picked this book out for me. Um, and this is the book that the movie is, the movie that's out now is based on. Um, I definitely want to see the movie, but I also want to read the book. So I'm excited to read this. I think this is a very fitting book if you are someone who enjoys my channel. Um, the next book, if I'm being honest, is a prop. <laughs> uh, but my in-laws got this for me. This is the little book of Louis Vuitton, um, which I might read and flip through. But honestly, this book is mostly for flat lays and to go in my, um, go in my background, if I'm just being honest. Thankfully, my in-laws knew that when they purchased it for me. Uh, next up, we have a book I'm really excited about, both for influencer <laughs> reasons and for um, actual reading, but this is Grace of Monaco, Princess in Dior. It's a book about Grace Kelly, and it just, it looks just so beautiful. There's just so many like beautiful pictures of her and her style, and anyways, I'm super excited to read this book, and it's like pale pink, and it says Dior on it, like, and it says princess. It, when I saw that book in the bookstore, had to have it. Okay, we're gonna save the funniest book for last. Uh, next, getting into another passion of mine is uh, the royal family. So my husband picked up um, Queen Elizabeth II's Guide to Life, which I've been reading, and it's really fun. It's definitely like a light read. It's sort of a whole bunch of shorts, little little antidotes and things like that about Her Majesty, um, and I think this book is just so fun. So this book is actually for reading. Um, and then another book that's for reading, but also for styling is HRH, So Many Thoughts on Royal Style. So we've got the Queen, Princess Diana, Kate and Meghan on here. Um, and it just, it looks like such a fun book. Again, lots of beautiful, beautiful pictures and kind of stories about their style. So I'm really excited to dive into this one. This is one of those books that I'm gonna read. Um, but it's also going to probably end up in my YouTube background. And then the next book um, my husband picked for me. And I've been listening to All Too Well 10 minute version basically nonstop until I switch to Christmas music. But as of January 1st, I stopped listening to Christmas music, so we'll be back on Taylor Swift. He got me a Jake Gyllenhaal adult coloring book. I think because he's sick of listening to All Too Well. So I can color in this coloring book while I listen to Taylor. So I think he thought he was being pretty fun with that one. My husband got me these socks. It says, if you can read this, bring me a Diet Coke. And I am definitely a Diet Coke girl, so this was very nice. I'm excited about that. I'm gonna wear those and make him bring me a Diet Coke. Um, okay, and then into the beauty things. So one thing I will say that as somebody who has a makeup related channel, I really try hard not to ask for any beauty things, unless they're like staples that I need refills of because you know what, I'm really lucky to be sent makeup throughout the year and I don't need any more makeup. Like I'd rather my Christmas gifts not be makeup, like fashion, jewelry, books, just not makeup. But you know, there's always some exceptions. So I got some refills on my Olaplex, so Olaplex four and five. I am thinking about doing a video kind of reviewing the entire Olaplex line from the perspective of somebody who doesn't have color treated hair. So let me know if you'd find that video helpful, but um, I'm really enjoying Olaplex, so I'm excited to get refills on their shampoo and conditioner. Um, and then this next one, a brand we talk about a lot on my channel is Refer. There's the box. And in no particular order, um, my husband ordered me a set of eye brushes and then my mom ordered me some different face brushes and some kind of backups of my favorite eye brushes. So all in all, I've got a nice big handful of refer brushes to add to my collection. And I'm pretty sure that once I add these to my collection, there's still a few brushes that I'd like to pick up from them, but once I add these to my collection, I should be able to go a whole week without washing my eye brushes. So I'm very excited about that. Okay, and then finally we have some goodies from Charlotte Tilbury. So we've got the Easy Smoky Eyes to Hypnotize. Um, so this is a little duo of two uh, shades that are only available in this set. I'm sure they'll be available, you know, in the regular collection eventually, but we have two of her color chameleons, which is exciting. Then I also got um, two of her, the classic eye pencil. This is one of my favorite eyeliners for tight lining. So uh, I got that in classic brown and classic black. And then finally, there's very few Charlotte Tilbury quads that I don't own. And I just received the Rebel, which is a 
like green gold olive tone palette. So that is kind of a selection of gifts I received for Christmas. If you want to see a little bit more, I did put up a TikTok and a reel just kind of going through some of the other sort of little bits and pieces I received, but I'm super thankful for everything I received this Christmas. I'd love to know in the comments down below what you received for Christmas, any highlights, if there's anything that I featured today that you'd like to see reviewed or spoken about. Definitely the handbags are going to be on my list for January and February, but super, super excited. I'm also really grateful to myself for taking a few days off um, of filming between Christmas and today. Today is the 28th, I believe. Days don't really, yes, it's the 28th. Days don't mean anything between Christmas and New Year, but I'm really glad that I took some time off to just rest and hang out with my family and not be on a schedule and not be all done up. Um, I think that I do have a few more videos I want to get out by the end of the year, and then I think we'll be heading into a three video a week schedule. So anyways, that is what I received for Christmas. Thank you so much for watching, for joining me through Vlogmas. I'm really excited about the plans I have for the new year for this channel and my content. I'm excited to have you here with me. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Mwah. One other thing, this is gonna be our last video with our beautiful pink tree and our pink decor. So literally right after I finished filming and editing this video, tree is coming down so I can start getting ready for our next background.